on Sunday, uh, 153 people on um, a McDonnell Douglas MD-83 uh, lost their lives when it crashed into Lagos, Nigeria. Unfortunately, it appears some people on the ground also lost their lives when the aircraft hit either their building or the street that they were on. It appears the flight crew reported to air traffic control they were having engine trouble, and there are now reports that uh, they were having trouble with both of their engines. It's unlikely that uh, both engines would fail just due to some mechanical problem within the engine. Uh, it's more likely that some environmental or systematic problem caused both of them to fail. Uh, on one of the news uh, feeds, the notion of bird strikes was cited because apparently this aircraft had experienced a bird strike years ago. Uh, that's possible. We can't rule that out uh, yet. Uh, it's more likely because it was on approach to landing uh, it was an older aircraft which required a flight engineer to manage the fuel that uh, there was a problem with fuel. Modern aircraft have many sensors compared to what the MD-83 would have had and a lot of software to process the data from those sensors. Whether the issue was fuel or the issue is some system that either has failed or might almost be ready to fail, the reason to have triply redundant systems and so many different sensors that are monitored continuously throughout a flight is to allow the flight crew to be informed not just by looking at the old style instruments that didn't really have a lot of uh, uh, sophistication but also to allow the system to inform the flight crew when anomalies occur. It's too soon to say whether the equipment itself uh, and its age had a significant uh, influence on this accident. If you compare accidents, this is uh, similar to the U.S. Airways bird strike accident that occurred uh, where uh, the captain was able to successfully ditch the plane in the Hudson River and everyone survived. That accident could have been like this uh, in different circumstances. The differences involved potentially the uh, lack of a, an available landing area that was open like the Hudson River. Uh, that was a very critical part of that emergency landing. Uh, I don't know what altitude the engines failed at, whether there were options for the flight crew to turn away from the urban area or not. But these are all questions that I'm sure will emerge as the investigation continues.